Hi, I'm Rachel Noya, speech language pathologist at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare in Wallingford, Connecticut. According to the American Speech, Language, and Hearing Association, one out of every 25 people experience difficulty swallowing. The technical term for difficulty swallowing is dysphagia. Dysphagia can be oral in nature or occurring in the mouth. People can have difficulty with chewing food, moving food around in their mouths, containing it in their mouths, and then moving it back to swallow. Dysphagia can also be pharyngeal or occurring in the throat. Throat muscles can get weak for a variety of reasons and food can get stuck in the throat or travel towards the wrong pipe or trachea and aspiration can occur. Aspiration is when food or liquid goes down the wrong pipe into the lungs. Sometimes when people experience dysphagia, modifying food textures is required. The purpose of this video is to provide a caregiver blueprint for managing a pureed diet to maximize the appeal of a pureed diet while minimizing time and effort through simple preparations. Smooth food textures can make it easier for a person to swallow food down the right pipe. It might also increase the amount of food consumed during a meal, increasing efficiency. As with anything, there are risks. I would say the biggest risk of a puree diet is lack of appetite or decreased appetite, which can lead to unintentional weight loss, poor nutrition, dehydration, or vitamin and mineral deficiencies. It's so important to stimulate the senses, experiment with colors, contrast colors, use herbs, use spices, um, cook with foods that have a very pleasant and appealing aroma. It's also helpful to batch cook whenever possible. If you're making a recipe, double it, triple it, freeze it, and save it for later use. Many foods can be pureed. And if pureeing proves difficult, it's definitely possible to mimic flavors that would be very appealing. And definitely look for ways to make it easy. Use the grocery store for shortcuts. There are prepackaged uh, frozen food items that are naturally smooth. Stock your refrigerator and freezer for items that you could grab and go and prepare. Why don't we head over to the kitchen and I'll illustrate some of these points to you. Let's talk about the basics when it comes to pureeing. So you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need either a high powered blender, a food processor, or an immersion blender. Now, if you're not familiar with an immersion blender, this is a, a tool that's used to actually puree or blend food inside the pot or the pan you cooked it in. Once you have your tools for actually doing the pureeing, you need to come up with what I call some moisture sources, things that are um, gravy-based, sauce-based, um, broth-based items that can be added to the, um, the blender or the food processor to actually create the pureed consistency. Now, what you're aiming for is the consistency of an applesauce or a pudding. So I have here a piece of French toast, and uh, this might be intimidating to puree, but it's actually quite simple. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this piece of French toast and I'm gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. All right, I have my French toast cut into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna add it to the food processor along with some maple syrup and some milk to blend. Now we're looking for the consistency of um, a yogurt or a pudding or an applesauce. and we can adjust as we go how much moisture or liquid we need. And all right, here's our finished product. This is blended French toast with a little bit of cinnamon on top for flavor and visual appeal. So now after uh, the French toast, let's do something that can be eaten for lunch or dinner. 
who doesn't love chicken parmesan? So I have here a piece of chicken parmesan that I've cut into bite-sized pieces. I have some tomato sauce and I have some cottage cheese. Now, th this is an item that I can use to help um, puree it, and it also serves as an extra source of protein and calories. And I might adjust um, with a little bit more uh, tomato sauce or cottage cheese as I go. All right, here we go. All right, chicken parmesan is all blended up and plated. Um, again, to add to the visual appeal and to add flavor, I'm gonna put a little bit of coarse pepper on top. Parmesan cheese would be nice too. And some basil. And there we go, chicken parmesan. So I have displayed for you some, again, some breakfast items and lunch and dinner items that are pureed. Some of the items are naturally smooth and some I've prepared. So we have here some cream of wheat. Now, just looking at the cream of wheat, white, not very visually appealing, but we can add a little maple syrup and a little cinnamon perhaps, or, adding a little bit of these uh, pureed peaches on top might add a nice color contrast that will increase the palatability of the food item. Alrighty. I also have here some um, oatmeal with cinnamon on top. These are blended scrambled eggs. Now the way I prepared these is I put the scrambled eggs in the blender with some milk and actually a little bit of American cheese you can also use a little bit of cream cheese to add to a nice uh, smooth texture. And we have some applesauce and some yogurt. And then moving to more of our lunch and dinner items, we have our chicken parmesan that we prepared together. We have some mashed potatoes made with milk and butter. And I've also added a little bit of paprika on top for a nice visual contrast. And uh, I have some blended chicken here that I've topped with barbecue sauce. And these are pureed carrots. Now to, to add a little bit of pizzazz to the pureed carrots, we can drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on top or a little bit of heavy cream. I also want to highlight for you some items that I found at the local grocery store that um, are good to keep on hand in a pinch. So I have here found in the frozen food aisle some um, already prepared butternut squash that's already blended. I have here some uh, mashed sweet potatoes and some mashed cauliflower. Um, I also found in the refrigerator prepared foods area of the grocery store some pre-made mashed potatoes, hummus, and then also at uh, the grocery store, you could actually pick up pureed uh, prepared meals. So this one is uh, maple cinnamon French toast, and this one is uh, roasted turkey with stuffing and green beans. Good to keep on hand. I hope you found this video helpful. Being prescribed a pureed diet doesn't have to dampen the food experience. Simple tips and tricks can make a world of difference. Remember to consult with your doctor and your speech language pathologist to help you navigate this. And to close, please enjoy these recipes as they appear on your screen. Thank you.